What's up everyone? Welcome to another DNA's Classics Lounge. As you can see in the corner here, we're gonna be playing some NES Classic. Tonight's game obviously comes from 25 years ago with Kirby's Adventure, which is not actually the first one in the series. The first one in the series comes from the Game Boy title, Kirby's Dream Land. Um, Brought to you by, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, uh, Satoru Iwata. Um, he was one of the innovators of making HAL Laboratory a thing, which ultimately brought the success of Kirby here to Nintendo. Um, he eventually went on to do some very big things and unfortunately passed away three years ago in 2015. Um, but one of those big things that he did end up going on to do was the Super Smash Brothers series. And we all know how amazing that series is. So I know you're all here for the gameplay, not so much me gabbing at you, so I'm gonna jump into that. Feel free to chat along. Hopefully it pops up on the screen. If it doesn't, I apologize in advance. I'm not sure why. But let's jump into some gameplay. So I wanna thank you all for joining me tonight for this Classics Lounge. As always, we play retro games on Wednesday nights here with DNA. And this week is a good one. As you can see, I already started the game, but we'll start brand new for you guys. What is everyone's favorite Kirby game? Has anyone never played a Kirby game? And why have you not? This is considered one of the greatest, you have not played? Andrea is raising her hand. She has never played a Kirby game. This is uh, considered one of the best NES games of all time. They created this game, well not this particular one, but they created Kirby with the intention of making something easy and welcoming on the Game Boy. As you see here, I just swallowed or sucked an enemy and I hit down and absorbed his power. This is the, actually the first game that they debuted in. In Kirby's Dream Land, you did not have that ability. You only could suck them up and then spit out stars. They wanted to increase this for more than casual gamers and the more hardcore so they added that ability into the series and it's been a franchise staple since. Obviously he's one of the best characters too in Smash Bros. In my opinion. Yikes, and I am not doing it. Too busy chatting. So each character has its own unique set of powers that ultimately allow you to get through certain things here. Much like the NES, the NES Classic here, loves to have some frame rate issues. That was silly. As you can see it Oops, that was bad here. Um Greater Kirby was Masahiro Sakura. Yeah that's right, Sakurai. Uh Iwata did contribute to um so I say correct me if I'm wrong. I knew they were all involved in it. Love this game as a kid. It is a really good one. I'm gonna pay attention to the game though, rather than the chat, I'll let Andrew help me out with that. <laughs> so I don't play terribly here. But yeah, it's hard to believe that this game is 25 years old. The colors were brilliant. Obviously this is the first Kirby game in color. Dreamland was not in color as it was on the original Game Boy. If you played it on the Game Boy Color though, they added you know, stuff to it. Oh, almost. Almost all the way to the top there. But Kate says, I only ever played Dreamland. And then, uh, kind of smaller says, I only ever played Kirby the Crystal Shards on N64. Really? <coughs> Is it just that Kirby wasn't interesting? Like, did it not appeal? I know it seems childish to a lot of people, but back then, that's what we were. I played a lot of Kirby. Kirby's a franchise, though, that I don't know, like I know Mario inside and out. I don't know all the secrets, and I couldn't name, you know, all the characters, but I did play a lot of it, but I didn't obsess. So why did you never play Kirby? I think it was too much before my video gaming years. Like, you... we had an NAS, but it's not like we were allowed to play it all the time. But you played Super Mario 3 and stuff, right? 
from Mario All Stars. Oh, from the Super. Okay. Yeah, I did not have. The only games that I had for the NES were um, Super Mario Brothers and the Duck Hunt combo with the gun. Okay. Adventures of Lolo, or Adventures, yeah, Adventures of Lolo, and then a Fisher Price <laughs> ABC game that yeah. we rented from the local library. We didn't even own the games, we just rented them. <clears throat> So his power, we since he's like a mini boss, is pretty fun. What? I just we just weren't big video game players. We had to go outside and play in the country. Country. <laughs> I mean, I went outside and played too. Oh, but... Tetris. We had Tetris too. My mom was BA at Tetris. I think everyone had Tetris though. If you didn't, I'm like, why didn't you have Tetris? My mom was also super BA at getting the unlimited lives at the end of World Three One in Super Mario Brothers. Like every time she could trap that little duck at the end of that those stairs, it was, really? it was like magic. She would get so many lives that they didn't have numbers; it was symbols. And then of course she had to like leave it on because you couldn't save. It was crazy. I didn't have my own system before the N64. Most games we had before that were either my brothers or the ones that everyone wanted, like Aladdin and Lion King. Okay. I mean, 64, I think was. Kind of at that point where it was no longer nerdy to play video games. It was that introduction of the PS1, the N64, those those middle years in the mid 90s, where it was becoming, you know, trendy and, and cool for, you know, the outsiders, if you will, the, the non-nerds to play games. I lied. I did play a Kirby game. It was a Kirby Tetris game, where you played against the bad guys in the. Like, you played against that witch that was sweeping, you played against a tree, you played against the... Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a, it's essentially like Dr. Mario or Tetris, where you can dump things on the other screen. Like, when you're playing against the characters. I don't remember what it was called, but it was on... I don't even know what system it was on, to be honest with you. I have no idea. But we, my sister and I did play that game a lot. We really like Tetris games, obviously, because it's like that Tetris, the one that I was talking about last week or two weeks ago, where it was like a, you're, a, you're an archaeologist in a pyramid. <laughs> Rob knew the name of it. But that's the only Kirby game I ever played. Let me see if Facebook chat is coming up. Yep, there are some people. Oh, it's not in the thing? No, apparently it's not showing up. I know they did something. But that's all right. I ain't so worried. Uh, Trevor McCann says Kirby Pinball is the only Kirby I have played. Kirby Pinball. Now I know Rob had played one. Rob, if you if you're listening um, or watching, what was the Kirby game that you had mentioned? Because it was on the same topic of uh, Sonic Spinball, which is not a great game, by the way. <laughs> Yikes. I just like the music of Kirby. Like, it's... I don't know, it's just a happy... soundtrack. Kirby's Avalanche. Kir oh, okay, I remember Kirby's Avalanche. Yep. 1995, it was on the Super Nintendo. So just two years after this game is released. Yeah. So that's the, and it's like Dr. Mario. It's like these little blobs that like stick together. Yeah. I mean, puzzler games are pretty common for most franchises that are successful. At some point, you become a puzzler game. And I remember being like, "Oh, game. I really like this," but it's not like I. Even if I had been like, "Oh yeah, I want a Kirby so game," my mom would have had no idea. Probably. I mean, she probably could have figured it out, but it, video games weren't like our big thing yet. <clears throat> Sarah, yeah, Sarah says it was, was it Kirby's Avalanche on the SNES? Yes, it was. Yeah. And then I forgot says, to unlink and relink Facebook and Streamlabs. Ah, sorry, Rob. I can't see the name on this one. I, uh, A. Kirby's, Kirby's Dream, Dream Course. Course. That's yeah. Rob. Oh, hi, Rob. Um, yeah, Kirby's Dream Course. That was on the SNES Classic. Um, so, I mean, it may be one I play at some point. It's not going to be my go-to, though. 
The reason for this selection this week and the reason for the lack of a vote was because this Friday I'm very excited for the new Kirby game coming out on the Switch. I know there are possibly some people watching that are also just as excited. Um, I know Kevin's been looking forward to it. Um, possibly others watching. But that one's going to be unique because it's uh, four player. You can either have the AI people you know, be your friends or you can have couch friends because Nintendo still likes to do that which is why I love Nintendo because we all have now a socially awkward generation that sat on their Xbox 360s instead of sitting next to somebody and beating each other up over the controller to uh, play N64 games or getting slappers only next to each other in Goldeneye those kind of things are gone and I think that's why it holds so dear in my heart Nintendo, because it was the introduction of PlayStation as well as these other consoles that got rid of, you know, that couch co-op. I know there are still games out there that have it, but it's it's not as, you know, predominant in every single release. Like every game on the N64 pretty much had four-player support. sword. Uh, if you're using Streamlabs, you can do it right from there. You know, count that walk Andrew through without interrupting the stream. Apparently he's confident he can walk you through adding the chat. Okay. With Streamlabs? <laughs> if you want to message her in the uh, group, you can. I think she's willing to try it. I know there are probably some Facebook peeps who are not getting on here. Possibly. I've been following him. The last one was that Trevor. I see people Mom. popping in on Facebook, so thanks for checking out the stream for even just a moment here. Appreciate it. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm part of a group called Dose of Nerd Acumen. I'm sure you've seen a post at some point. Um, we stream nightly. Uh, each weeknight, one of us takes a turn. Lately, it's been the schedule of Rob on Monday. Andrea before she decided to quit <laughs> on Tuesdays, but now we have It Takes Two Baby. I'm just gonna do two slogans for every single week for you, Rob. I don't even care what you say. I'm making them all. Um, so you got the couples on uh, Tuesdays, Rob and Sarah. Wednesdays, obviously, you're here with me. Thursdays, we have Eric. And then Friday is the show that we want you definitely to watch is our weekly dosage. Are we using the Streamlabs version of OBS, though? We are not. I still have not <laughs> jumped to that. I'm a terrible person, I know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh? He's gonna wiggle free. No? He usually does. But... I'm not sure if I got it. <laughs> nope, I didn't get that one though. Oh, oh, so close. So he's gonna. Yeah, I knew that one was gonna. Didn't have a good grip. So if I mess with this, it's not gonna mess with the stream, right? No, if you go to the internet and do the thing no, that he's I'm saying. Open a browser. There you go. So if my stream ends, blame Andrea. <laughs> She's messing around to make sure we can get Facebook chat going on here for you. So we got our first boss fight. Obviously one of the most iconic bosses in the series here. That I'm going to mess up on. Ah, I'm doing terribly. Wow. Yikes. Got him. <laughs> ice cream island. I want some ice cream. 
What Kingdom Hearts was it that in every cutscene they're eating ice cream? A little trivia here for you guys know. Kingdom Hearts, which one, which game in the series? In every cutscene are they eating ice cream? Did I do something to screw up? No. Oh. <laughs> Just got dark over there. Do I log in with Twitch or log in with YouTube? Doesn't matter, you can log in with YouTube. You just gotta log out, uh, go what? down to... This one? Yep. Fixing. Ah! Got fire. So, yeah. See you walking through. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Anyone else out there have a switch or picking up Kirby? How about the opposite perspective? This is time to open up. Anyone hate Kirby? Just can't stand him. Thinks he sucks. See what I did there? Oh man. <laughs> but for real, like, are there anyone out there that uh, hates Kirby? Yeah. Yes. Any Smash Bros fans? Oh, that was a close call. If you know any secrets or anything too, let me know. If there's like secret things that I'm missing. Again, I don't know this one inside and out like I know Mario. So no unique tips or tricks. Let's see if we can nail this. God, just doing miserably. Can't get Jump bonus. harder, bro. Jump you harder. Oh, well, now we're getting canceled, that's for sure. Ew. I feel like it's that scene in Jurassic Park where he's trying to talk her and do like turn the power back on. Oh, right here. Well, yeah, but I wanted to make sure that wasn't gonna mess anything up. No. <laughs> this is very much like if a hand comes down on your on your I know, shoulder. Right? I'm gonna freak out. That was the scariest part when I was a kid. The movie is amazing. Uh uh uh. Oh! Come on, grab it. Yep, we see the Facebook ones on screen now. Okay. We have it? Yeah, Eric is the sole Twitch watcher. He's so lonely. Are you the only <laughs> one on Twitch? Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you came out. Invite your peeps. It's kind of your uh, territory. You're the, the Twitch guy. <laughs> <laughs> Rob seems to get the most views on uh, YouTube. Wheel! Oh. Thanks. I want you so odd. What's your favorite Kirby power up? If you don't know, what's the favorite one that you've seen so far? Andrew? Sword is pretty sweet. Yeah. I also like the uh, star dragon breath that you seem to have. Oh yeah, the firepower yeah. thing. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Do we do it this time? No. Sarah says, Kingdom Hearts 358, two days. Sea salt ice cream cutscene. Have to draw Axel and Roxas eating ice cream. Then draw Axel, Roxas, and Zion eating ice cream together. Two artist trading cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ice cream. I don't know why. No. It's, it's a thing, though. No. No. 
Here, I'll bring it to you. Kitty wants to join. Uh, I think Eric says eating wings can't. You're eating wings? Where are you eating wings from? You better not say Buffalo Wild Wings because I'm going to be super jealous. So I've been craving that. Like nonstop for the last two months, all I've wanted is wings. That's all I want. Even if when I had it, it still doesn't fill the craving. Like I'm disgustingly full and I still want more. Why? Now you know what it's like to be a woman on a period. <laughs> That's what it's like. That's not that well, terrible. Well, I mean, that's one symptom What's of that? many, but it's it's bad because it happens once a month for like half your life, and so, then. So you eat wings once a month for half your life? No, but you're craving stuff, you idiot. This does not sound bad at all. I want to be a woman. Sarah says, "Sorry about that. Did not before I copied and pasted." <laughs> And Eric says, nope, Mr. Pizza. He got pizza too. I want pizza. That's all right, we made veggie lasagna. So what now? <laughs> and I had to like scarf it down so I wasn't late for y'all. Because it takes two hours and five minutes to bake in the oven. The hell. One up. Whoa. I remember that sound effect because that was in the Tetris game. Was it? Mm -hmm. Anyone excited for uh, the announcement of the new Smash Bros? There was a Nintendo Direct thingy this week. Uh, a bunch of games were announced. Some new, some more ports. Um, but Smash Bros is supposed to be a new one in the series. So... Honestly, with that one, I didn't care if it was a port from the Wii U because that game was amazing. The Kate says, uh, pizza. I think she really wants some pizza. And then Eric says, pie day, my dude. Oh, uh, dude, it is, and I had lasagna. I fail at life. I mean, lasagna's kind of like a pie. I'm a, with stuff in the middle. I'm a bad Italian. Rob says, I have some more leftovers of the Hungry Howard stuffed crust we had the other day in the fridge. It's super good. Wait, Hungry Howard has stuffed crust? Everyone has stuffed crust now. They even have like little Caesars the hunt ready things. I don't like Hungry House pizza. What? what? Domino's for life. No, Hungry House is amazing. There's no. sauce. They know how to sauce. <clears throat> it is pie day. Yeah. Let's talk about pizza pie. What's your favorite Not toppings? Pie day. It's Becky's first. Let's talk about Becky's favorite pizza <laughs> toppings. Becky categorically hates Domino's pizza really? because when we were in school, Tuesdays was pizza day and it was always Domino's. She hated it. Why? I, don't know. I think she just overdid it. No. But she hates it now. Favorite pizza toppings. Go. Pepperoni and bacon, bro. Yeah. And a pineapple. Ugh. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. It's fruit. Uh, you're a fruit. There we go. Let's go for the big one, huh? Like Domino's you... Philly cheesesteak pizza. That sounds friggin' amazing. Uh, we need Philly's to do that. Always is better than Domino's. I mean, you can be wrong if you want. It's okay. Mancino's always. Better than Domino's. Mushroom pineapple bacon. That's a good good mix. God, why would you ruin bacon with two horrible things like fungus and Mushrooms pineapple. are amazing. So my other one, if I have to get two times, is we usually only get two at a time. Um, Hem and pineapple is a go-to, the Hawaiian standard. Um, black olive and mushroom is another one that I really like the combination of. Ugh. Mm, ugh. Terrible. No. Ugh. No. No. <clears throat> Did I already do this little? Yeah, you got a flag. Stupid. Not paying attention. Where's three? I did three, it was down there. Oh. That's why four is here. Come on now. Are those like, supposed to be monkeys? They're incredibly creepy. 
I, you know, I don't know what any of these characters are supposed to be, technically. Well, I, one, of, one is clearly a tree. Well, that's like a flying apple. Flying apple? I think I'll just say that. Boop, boop, boop. So that's it for you guys' favorite. Uh, don't get me started on pineapple. No, let's get you style. Are you for it or against it? So I want to see long term if this is gonna work out. <laughs> the Kate says I miss pizza. Kate, why are you missing pizza? What happened to it? Where'd it go? <laughs> Can you not have pizza? Oh. The frames. Where did they go? Thank you, Eric. Somebody sane has joined the conversation. Ugh. No! What is wrong with you? The word no. Pineapple is disgusting. Pineapple is amazing. The only acceptable place to have pineapple is when it's in a pina colada. No, the only acceptable like place is in my mouth. Oh, Eric says he will end this friendship. Well, it's over, bro. <laughs> I'll end it over pineapple. That's, that's how serious. <laughs> that's that's how serious this is. Ooh. Yeah, it's a laser. Fork laser. Yeah, pineapple's legit though. I will battle anyone. Ugh, it's probably easily the topping I've had the most on pizza. Like ever. I do love a good um, Supreme though. Eric's not gonna be friends with any of you except for me. That's fine. The cake can't eat pizza anymore. Oh, that makes me sad. It's a bummer. <laughs> Is it something that makes you sick? I guess it's not really any of our business, I apologize. You're gonna ignore me. Damn. <laughs> I'm like so nosy. Andrew's like, are you diseased? <laughs> no. Hey, Jesus. I'm just like really sad about no pizza. It makes me sad. My son recognizes, he could see down the street if there's like a little thing on people's cars. And he's like, pizza! He knows the pizza delivery drivers. And he yells at them when they arrive. Like a happy yell with excitement. But like he knows. You get pizza? Yeah. Yeah, Atticus, we have pizza. <laughs> that tells you right there how often we had it. Hey, we used to get it every single Friday, remember? Yeah, for a while there. And then we became parents and we didn't have money anymore. <laughs> and then we started having some ass clowns over every Friday night. Yeah, ugh. They're like, hey, let's do this weekly dosage thing every single week with the same people. That'll be fun. Well, it turns out it was pretty fun. Sarah says she's gonna hide a piece of pineapple in everything Eric eats. <laughs> Those, that's that's like a divorceable offense. I know you guys aren't married, but like friendship divorce. That is pretty funny though. Come here, laser. I don't like that one. It's not very accurate because you can't like. Sure, I mean, it's, it's accurate enough. Eric says pineapple is good, just not on pizza. That's the epitome of hell on earth. Wait, you, okay, so you like pineapple, but not on pizza. Why? Like, there's gotta be a reason. I, someone whose name I can't see here. So it's oh, at the Eric frames. the Dead, you're allowed to be wrong. Pineapple on pizza is great. <laughs> I can't see the name. Oh, it's just Rob on Twitch. <laughs> he joined, huh? I am going to die. <clears throat> I am not fast. I am not fast. I need health. Oh boy. I mean, Rob and Sarah and Travis, it's okay if you guys are wrong. You're allowed to be wrong. I mean, I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. It's fine. Yeah, I'm never wrong. Oh, that's adorable. I am adorable. I'm going to 
if you like disgusting pizza, you like disgusting pizza. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm not here to shame you for your disgusting, disgusting taste in pizza. You shame people all the time. That's what you do best. Ooh. Amanda's here. Hi, Amanda. It's Amanda Gatter. Oh, so his issue is the temperature of the pineapple. Eric does not like hot pineapple. Oh, okay. I he mean... He says it equals diarrhea. <laughs> I mean, if it's messing up your digestion... Sure. I heard pineapple does something for your body, though. I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm sure you know where I'm going with that. You're an idiot. <laughs> Ladies, fellas, anybody? Back me up here. What, why? Nope. Just ignore me. So, obviously there are more than just a pizza pie, there are other types of pies, like pie. <laughs> what is your favorite pie? And why? Pumpkin pie in the cold times. The cold Blue, times. What is this? Blue Game of Thrones? Pie. Cold times are coming. In the winter is coming, idiot. And Blue... You said cold times. Why would I say winter when you said cold times? If you Blue... said winter, I would have said winter. Blueberry pie in the warm times. Maybe you warm time. Maybe you're just gonna stand there and let him hate you. Is that your? Yep. He shook his did butt. He just shook his butt. He did. Speak Eric louder. says it tastes like garbage fire threw up on a skunk that had sex with an even smaller skunk. How do you know this? How? I don't know. I do like and, uh, pumpkin pie. Just wanted to step in and say hi. She's going to bed because I didn't get much sleep last night. Well, thanks for stopping by the Classics Lounge. I hope the little ah! munchkin is feeling better. Give her extra snuggles from Aunt Andrea, okay? Oh, man. Amanda also says no pie, cheesecake. Well, cheesecake pie then, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sarah says pumpkin pie or apple pie with ah. spruce or crust. I'm doing terrible. I'm gonna die. Well, you literally just like let him run into you. I died. This one's tough. Terrifying descriptive that is yeah pumpkin pie is great um, apple pie if made correctly is really good my mom makes a bomb.com apple crisp that's delicious. yeah her apple crisp is really good There's a pattern, I just don't know it. Oh. Yep, and then they do that to, uh, to try and mess you up. Love you, sissy. Good night. I'm just going to bed. Bye. God. No, that was point. Butter building. I want some butter. Ew. <laughs> Don't want any butter. <laughs> I want a reaction. There are people that just crave butter though. <laughs> like take spoonfuls of butter out of Ugh, the top. That literally makes me want a bomb. <laughs> They're like, mm, I can't believe it's not butter. Oh. You're, I forgot what show it is. It's like people's like weird, like problems, I guess, or vices. 
like where they eat toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Why is that a thing? Seems like an alarm clock. <laughs> so weird. Oh, I forgot this one. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Cherry pie is the ultimate pie. I feel like there's a sexual in the window in there somewhere. She's my cherry pie. A cool drink of water, such as sweet surprise. Sure. All I think of is the jackass or the bad grandpa. Bad grandpa. Story. That's just funny. That's really funny. Oh god! I knew that was gonna happen. I'm sorry. I'm determined to get the top one. And Kate. I got it! Kate with the correct answer. I got it. <laughs> Finally. So everyone enjoying some Kirby this evening? We got an active poll right now on Facebook. If you go to facebook.com forward slash Dose of Nerd Acumen, you can now pick next week's game between two options. Right now it's kind of unanimous what it'll be. Yeah. Uh, it's Currently in favor of Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo, which is Super Mario World 2. But most people here in the West um, just know it as Yoshi's Island. Ah. Um, the other option was a PS2 classic. I hate to say that it's considered a classic now, but it's true. Um, Grand Theft Auto 3, which takes place in Liberty City, which is New York, if you didn't know by now. Eric says, cherry pie is good, but cheesecake is the ultimate dessert. Not a huge fan of pies, but they are tasty. Much more love brownies and cheesecake. No, I agree with you there. Um, <laughs> I'm very... Picky with pie. Cheesecake is the best. That, or pudding pie, I guess, would be a really good pie. Like pudding. You mean like a banana cream pie type thing? Oh my god, yeah. There's some really good crust on there. But yeah, cheesecake for sure. Uh, that's my go-to. Um, brownies. Brownies are amazing. With some ice cream on it. Your corner brownie or middle brownie? Yeah, corner, so it has a little bit of crunch. Ugh, no. I want it all really yummy. That's dirty. Yep. We need a little bit of crunch. Because you already get the gooeyness from the but ice Kate cream. Asked, is it normal for babies to lay in the dark laughing at nothing? Because I'm kind of getting creeped out. <laughs> Ours yells at his iPad as he's watching it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, man. And when he was younger, he did used to stare off like into the ceiling like he was looking at somebody and kind of giggle every once in a while. So yeah, I think it's normal. Or both of our houses are haunted, so. Or our kids are haunted. I think kids in general are just strange. Uh, Sarah says, maybe one of these weeks I'll make a cheesecake and bring it over on Friday. Yes, Sarah, maybe you will. <clears throat> Then maybe you would make me very, very happy. Oh! Well, that was... Yeah, you gotta be really quick, and I'm, I'm not fast. Okay, what's your thing? You see, I remember all these villains from the Tetris game. <laughs> I need something. That's what I need. I have to be cautious. That Kate made a chocolate peanut butter cheesecake for Valentine's Day. That sounds amazing. I want 
Uh, oh, oh, so close. But yet so far. <clears throat> I really want more of my lasagna. <laughs> what the? I body slammed him. Because that's my move. Oh god, oh god. See? Boom. <laughs> oh, stupid. I got one health left. This is Eric not good. hates us because now he wants cheesecake more than anything in his life. You know they sell it, right? You can go to Meyer. They have that sampler platter that we all know that we bought and had multiple slices of. You know you've done it. No! <laughs> I thought I was going to miss him. Uh, hot middle brownie with French vanilla ice cream on top. Yeah, see, we need... We need... Uh, we need ice cream now. I think we bought ice cream, didn't we? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. I'm totally having ice cream after the stream. I'm going to bed. Or I just do a bonus stream and have you all watch me eat ice cream. Specifically, Eric. Ice, ice, baby. I can't get to it because it's a wall. Oh. I have to go a certain way. Did you know things? Eric just ate a whole small pizza and wings. It won't fit. Rob wants a brownie chocolate chip cookie cake thing. There. Right. <laughs> Are you happy now? <clears throat> Dude, trust me, you can make things fit. It sounded weird. Go, 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 I just can't do it. I just can't. Time to poop? That's what my son said during bath time. That's when we got out of the bathtub. So he said it was time to poop. <laughs> time to go. High jump. Do I want that? I'm sure I need it. Whoops, da. Ugh. Why don't they just start the level where you need to be instead of... It's making me incredibly dizzy. Really? Oh, I didn't know you were going to run off the cliff. I thought it was going to spin around a lot. It's Meta Knight! He's one of the cool ones. Eric says, you don't have the issue of it fitting, Travis, that's falling out that you need to work on. Wait, now what? I realize that could mean a few things, LOL. Uh, this stream is rated M for mature as we play Kirby. Ow! No, I just got to have my own power up. Stupid. Yay! Oh. oh! Oh! I really wanted the one up! I really wanted all these things that I didn't get! Ah, <laughs> oh, it sounds like Christmas growing up. Eric says I'm saying you're small. I mean, that's all right. I still get the job done, you know what I'm saying? All it takes is just a little bit. <laughs> and sometimes you don't even need that. You can make waffles. <laughs> I'm making waffles. Track reference. Rob says he tagged Nintendo in the tweet and the Facebook post. Yeah, Nintendo, you better be watching, okay? Stop flagging our videos. Because that's not cool, man. 
We want to celebrate your content in Classics Library, but you're not letting me. I'm not making money off this. What's the problem? <laughs> the chat is giving Kate diabetes. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? I didn't know you can get that from chatting, but now I get it. All the sugar. Oh god. Is that a monkey wearing armor? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you're gonna die, sir. Not today. Oh, he tickled my butt. Oh. Come on. Don't die. I knew he was going to jump that time, that's why I waited. We got hammer. Hammer time? Thanks. Oh, my bad time. What? Oh, this is the quick draw thing. Yeah, quick draw. I never get this. I'm quite terrible. Oh! Oh! Got him! It's not easy, though, is so it? He's awful violent. You gotta be fast. I'm not. I'm getting lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far so good. Oh god, this one's harder. Yeah, oh, see. He gotcha. You heard the click though. I did it. Just not fast enough. Yeah, we tried. So <laughs> Eric says you know all about quick draw, am I right? Like you said, man, get the job done. I got things to do, games to play. <laughs> well, I'm a lucky gal. If I get a round off, the more rounds I can get off. Coming to six shooter LaRue. No one's ever called me that. <laughs> but y'all didn't know. What was that Elmer Fudd? <laughs> Elmer Fudd. Yeah, one of the other guys in the draft. Ah! What the heck? I blew it up. Go, bitch. Stop blowing out the bomb thingies. Damn. Okay. What is Kirby? Does his species have a name? Is this like a trivia question? I don't no, know. I think she's genuinely asking. I don't know. That's Kate. That's from Kate. Ah! Um, he's just a, a pink puff. If you look at the box art of this thing, too, he was white. <laughs> yeah, he's just a pink puff. He's named after a vacuum. I know that much. <laughs> That's why it sucks. Ah, yeah. But really. Fan theories abound that he's a Pokemon. Well, I mean, maybe. That makes sense. He'd be a sweet Pokemon. Oh, you see that? Mm -hmm. That was close. What's everyone's favorite Pokemon? Unlocked bonus area. Charmander. Really? Charmander? Or Mewtwo. Because mm. it's a cat. Mewtwo's not a cat. What is it? You think I'm meow. No, the floating flying thing. They look like cats. I don't think Mewtwo's a cat. Someone. His name is that. Mew. That's the sound a cat makes. Someone confirm that. I don't think he's a cat. <clears throat> he does look a bit like Jigglypuff. <laughs> yes, oh, he does. I love 
much. Which I think is why Travis likes them so much. Chickadee Pop. One of my favorite episodes is that one. You put everyone to sleep, and then you draw on the, the marker. Jigglypuff is a dick. Oh, we did it again. That's two time, two time. Vulpix. Vulpix is a good one. Okay. Okay, but I like Pikachu. A Jigglypuff as well. See, I knew I liked Sarah. Charmander. She's smart. Char! One of the saddest episodes is Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> Leaves him out and the flame goes out. Did he just flip you off? Yeah. Dang it. Screw that one up. King DTD! I think the cake said Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle. Warp Star Station. Mew looks more like a rodent than a feline. Doesn't it have like a tail? Yeah, but isn't. Aren't they genetically engin engineered though? Isn't Mew too like part of that thing? I don't know. Oh, this boss is tough. I always do terribly on this one. It's the sun and moon, Andrew. I mean, yeah, but it looks like a cat. Whatever. I don't agree with you, people. <laughs> you mean you people? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I can't cheat and go up over. Rob says, real talk of all picks, this is my favorite because it's super freaking cute. Is that the one that's kind of like a dog in the. It's a fox. Like a fennec fox or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Ah! I do miserably on this one. It'll probably take me a couple times to beat this boss. Just <laughs> I think it does ball fix it so girly. <laughs> we got one boss down. I really need to be next to that. When he does that thing. Insinuating <laughs> no, I'm not insinuating, insinuating that robots don't have tail. Or rodents don't have tails. I'm insinuating that Mew and Mewtwo look like cats. Shh. Oh, I don't think I've ever done that first try. Eric said, "EV number one." And then Rob said, "Listen, Judgy, it's adorable, and I'm unashamed." Dude, you do you. Ain't nobody mad. Like I said, mine's cliche. I like po uh, Pikachu. And I refuse to evolve him with the Thunderstone. Alright, on this note, it's now been about an hour. I'm, I'm going to go to bed. What? I'm oh, sorry. I sleepy. You can hang out, it's okay. No, You're going to sit back there, anyways. Let's be real. Just lay down on here. No, it's okay. I'm, to I'm not being as tired tomorrow as I was today. <laughs> ah. Just bailing on us, everyone. Everyone, yeah, everyone, boo in the chat, boo and hiss. Isn't that what they do? It just like it scrolls by really fast. Everyone boos and hisses over and over again. That should be a thing. Oh God! Well, lost that one. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, is that a UFO? <gasps> oh, that's the coolest thing ever. Why do I not remember this? <laughs> Freaking UFO. Alright, ladies and gents. Are they booing and hissing you? No, I got by. I have a beautiful time. Oh man, come on, guys. Boon hiss, boon hiss. Where are you at? Have fun. Always. Love you. Love you. Good night.
Bye. There we go. Go, 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 go. Ah, I need to. Serve returned. Hush you. We're in the Grape Garden. Oh, the frames, where are they going? So I didn't get to carry over with my UFO, that makes me sad. Does anyone ever beat a Kirby game? I don't think I will tonight. It's, we don't have enough time, but has anyone ever completed one? Early reviews of the new Kirby game I'm hearing are that it's somewhat deep compared to other games in the series, mostly due to the highly intelligent AI in the game, which is interesting because mostly AI um, controlled where uh, games with AI are not intelligent and quite annoying. There we go. You don't see any grapes? You're right. Where are the grapes? There are no grapes. We'll have wrath. Those are grapes. Those look like apples. Oh, that was stupid. Silly mistakes. you bully me. Got one of you. Both. Stream bot brought to you by Pogwork. Yeah, the frames are... Uh... The game too. The games are free the game's freaking out. Just dropping some frames. Let's try the quick draw event here again. Got him. Got him. Another one bites the dust. Ah, I hit it too soon. Every time. He's tough. Speaking of PowerPoint, I used to make like little animations out of PowerPoint. Just create the slides and move the things ever so slightly. It was a long time ago. I think that was like in junior high I did that. Nah, 
I don't think we can do what we need to do in there. We need the fire. Focus here. Well, I think I'm going the wrong way. Where do I need to go? There we go. Want some more things? Perfecto. Right back in the same door. I didn't want to do that. Let's do it again here. Yeah. The resistance is too strong with this one. I'm gonna get hit by that bullet. Oh, so close. There we go. Everyone's still doing all right out there, enjoying the Kirby game. I think after this uh, boss in this level, we'll, we'll close out a Kirby and We'll take a look at what else the NES Classic has to offer, uh, if some of you have never played it. Oh, ouch. Whoop star. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, this is considered one of the best NES games to people. Do you agree with that statement, or what do you feel is the best NES game in existence, obviously? For me, I would have to go with Super Mario 2, Super Mario Bros. 2, as my favorite, uh, NES game. Tough choices though out there. Lost the power. Wow. That's a neat magic trick. You all just disappear on me. Dying. No, I'm dying. He doesn't like being sucked. In fact, he got quite angry and I tried to suck him. Get our sword back. If you've never played a Kirby game, I mean, it could be any game in general. Um, just what's your favorite NES game? Uh, Kirby is considered, you know, as I mentioned, the greatest NES game. I mean, it's based on a ton of, obviously, polls and whatnot, feedback over the years. Oh no! <laughs> Doing not so good here. I needed to get that. Throw your thing. Throw your thing. Oh, that was too close. Throw your thing. 
Yikes. Incredibly close. Ah, silly mistakes. So the thing about Kirby, it's, for me anyways, it's not like a super stressful game. It's more of a just kind of relaxed game. I think it's the happy music and the slight difficulty to it. Again, it's not an incredibly difficult game. It has, it has its own unique challenges, of course. It's not a breeze. Um, but it's, it's definitely a casual game. I don't like this one. He is annoying. Come on, throw your bugs. One more hit. Oh. Ah, oh, he dodged it. Having a rough go. Should have been an easy fight. S silly mistakes. Wow. Silly mistakes. All right, talk to you tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. This guy struggling with him for some reason. I just let him kill me. I don't need to beat him anyways. I can get to the last boss without beating him. Stream didn't die. It's going. My frame rates are dipping. It's not dying, it's... The frames are dropping, my internet sucks. For some reason this has been a thing lately. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you why, the stream has been... I even reset my router for tonight too, because I know this happened last week. I might have to hardwire in. Like my download speeds are pretty decent too. happening. Are we good? Are we back? Is everyone still with me? My internet's kind of taking a crap. As I mentioned, I'm probably just going to have to hardwire in now on. I don't know why this is happening every single week.
but it might be a good spot too to kind of end things too. So I've got to get out that well. Dude, like my internet download speeds are over 100 meg. And yet this happens. I'm literally 10 feet away from the router. We have one phone hooked up on it, so. But I think this is probably where I'll ultimately end my Kirby session here. Let's add a save state here. So this is the, I don't know if you're here with me. Is it more stable now? Rector Gaming, uh, is this still stable? Is everything back? Let me know. So as we close out this one, much like I've been doing now every week, is just playing a random one just for a moment. Um, this is the NES Classic, obviously, as you can see here. One of my favorite games, as I mentioned, Super Mario Bros. 2 from the NES. But there are a lot of really good games here. We've played Tecmo Bowl on the weekly dosage before. Some difficult games, some fun games, some not so fun games. Side Bike is really another, another really solid uh, game here. Mega Man 2, the best Mega Man in my opinion. Let's close out with this game. So I apologize if it was um, the internet was cutting out. My signal is not so great right now. But we'll close out with a few minutes of this. Just want to thank everyone for joining me this week for another Classics Lounge. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying the themes that I've been doing every Wednesday for everyone here. I know I've been. Well, this is definitely... Um, drive down memory lane, if you will. It's been for me every week. Grew up with video games. Uh, grew up for for me, for what I enjoy at the perfect age. I'm born in the mid 80s. Got to grow up with an Atari, NES, and live through all the generations here of all these games. So I mean, it's, it was re it's been really cool, obviously, to see the evolution of gaming and where it's come from and where everything is still headed. Like that obviously is very exciting. So a little sneak there to get through. Play Excite Bike or Balloon Fight. Oh, those are good ones too. Obviously, there are a lot that I could play here. Uh, many things to show off. One of them is not my skill, but more so um, just games. I know I am not good enough at any game to say that I am amazing at it and the best. I just enjoy gaming, so I will be humble with my gaming skill. I just have played a lot of games and I know a lot about uh, the history of things and the industry. I just truly have a passion for gaming in general. It's true. So the fun thing about this game, growing up, I used to go to Bowling Alley, actually on Wednesday nights, I believe, and I would get a bunch of quarters. And this is one of the games I would play. Which for me, that's why it holds such a dear place in my heart. Because it just brings me back. My guy up there is going to kill me, though. Got it. That was not easy. 
Now, where are you, Mushroom? I don't remember. I didn't go far enough. So those are just shortcuts. It's nice to skip areas because there's usually challenging areas. Never get the slots. Even in real life. Horrible luck at a casino. So I never go. And they smell bad. Close. But no cigar. Everyone has a preferred character in this game too. Um, I prefer Peach. Or Toadstool if you will. Depending on when you grew up. This is one of the secrets in this game. There's warps, so you can warp just like other Mario games. Let's see if I still got this one where I can jump and dodge all the enemies. A lot of the sounds in this game were used in the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, uh, which if you've never seen that, please do yourself a favor and watch that. I'm not saying watch it because it's great. Watch it because it's fun. If that makes any sense. Ah! So you can warp pretty much through this game. Um, this game is fun because at the end, it's so different than the first one. It seems like it's a dream almost. It seems very fake. Ah, this is the part that I was trying to get through with the, the jumping and dodging. Like I said, I was going to try, but that's all right. I think at this point though, this is where I'm probably going to call it for the night. I want to thank you all for joining me to watch Kirby's Adventure on the NES here. Uh, it's been a lot of fun doing this Classics Lounge every week. Next week, again, make sure to vote on the poll. Right now, Yoshi's Island from the Super Nintendo is leading against GTA 3. More than likely, that'll be the game I play for you all. But make sure your voice is heard and cast out a vote. Um, beyond that, check out Monster Hunter tomorrow night, most likely. Um, by Eric the Dead. This Friday we are doing a special episode of the Weekly Dosage featuring Mighty Number no. 9, which is a PS Plus free game right now, so make sure to download that. Play it, tell us what you think, along with our show on Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. You can always follow us and check all the nerdy news at Dose of Nerd Acumen's Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Dose of Nerd Acumen, or facebook.com groups slash Dose of Nerd Acumen. Make sure Check us out on YouTube, subscribe. We have a goal. That's part of history. Uh, we have a goal. It says 65 down there. We're actually at 72. We need 100 for a custom URL. Please help us out. You can check us out at twitch.com, twitch.tv, wow, uh, forward slash Dose of Acumen. And of course, Twitter, nerd underscore Acumen. And 
Instagram. Just search for Dose of Nerd Acumen. We post some behind the scenes photos, uh, some of our nerdy toys that we like to show off. Um, some cool stuff lately featured Gears of War, as well as some uh, pop figures, uh, various other things that people have been posting. So give us a heart there, follow us, let us know what you think. That's really it. Just do a search for us. You can find us. Whatever you prefer to watch us on or follow us or be a part of, just join the nerd culture and you know be a part of us because we're part of your DNA. So enough cliche, enough advertising. I just want to close this by thanking you all for checking us out, whether it's your first time or your 10th time or whatever. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Until then, keep gaming.